Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this square ABCD along with the rectangle AFBE as you can see in this diagram and moreover the side lengths for this rectangle AFBE are 1 and 2 units and now we are going to calculate the area of this green shaded triangle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, AEB. So therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. Let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg uh, as our side C. I'm going to call this side A and this side lowercase b. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. A in our case is 2. So this is going to become 2 square plus b is 1. So this is going to become 1 square equal to c square. So in this next step we got 2 square is 4 plus 1 square is 1. So therefore we got c square equals to 5. Let's undo this uh, square by taking the square root on both sides. So c turns out to be positive square root of 5. So therefore we can see that our this uh, side length AB turns out to be square root of 5. And now we can see that this is one of the side lengths of this uh, square ABCD. If this side length is square root of 5 then all these uh, side lengths are going to be square root of 5 across the board. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, square ABCD. And now let's recall the area of a square formula. Area equals to S square where S uh, represents the side length of the square. In our case the side length of this square ABCD is uh, square root of 5. So therefore the area of this uh, square ABCD is going to be square root of 5 whole uh, square and here they undo each other so we simply got uh, 5. So therefore the area of this uh, square ABCD turns out to be 5. Let me go ahead and call this our equation number 1. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, rectangle uh, AFBE. This is a rectangle so this means that this side length is going to be equal to this side length. This side length is going to be equal to this side length. So therefore this side length is going to be a 1 and this is going to be 2 units. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, right triangle uh, AFB. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times base uh, times height. And in our case our base is 2 and our height is 1. So thus the area of this uh, triangle AFB is going to be a half times our base is 2 and height is 1. And if we simplify everything that is going to give us 1. So thus the area of this uh, triangle AFB turns out to be 1. Let me go ahead and call this our equation number 2. And now since we are interested in finding the area of this uh, green shaded triangle so therefore we are going to be a little creative and we're going to think outside the box. So therefore we have drawn these uh, two straight lines that pass through this point F such that uh, this straight line is parallel to this uh, straight line AB and uh, this uh, straight line is parallel to this uh, straight line BC and as a result we got these uh, rectangles this one this one this one and finally this one. Now let me go over a basic concept if we have uh, this uh, rectangle and if uh, this is the diagonal of this uh, rectangle then this uh, diagonal is going to cut uh, this uh, area into two equal parts. If this area is A then it's, this area is going to be A as well. And here we can see these are our diagonals. So therefore in this uh, first rectangle if this side uh, area is A then this area is going to be A as well. Likewise for this if this area is uh, B then this area is going to be B as well. Likewise this is C then this area is C and finally if this area is D then this area is going to be 
D as well. So therefore, we can see that the area of this uh, square ABCD is going to be the sum of all these uh, individual uh, areas. We are going to add them up. So therefore, this is going to become A plus A is uh, 2A. Likewise, uh, B plus B is going to be 2B plus uh, C plus C is uh, 2C and finally D plus D is going to be 2 times D and now we can take this uh, two common outsides we got 2 times A plus B plus uh, C plus uh, D and we know that the area of this uh, square ABCD is uh, 5 from this equation 1 so therefore I'm going to replace uh, this side by simply 5 so therefore I'm going to replace this left hand side by 5 equals to 2 times A plus B plus C plus D. So let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2. This is gone. So therefore our A plus B plus C plus D equals to 5 divided by 2 is going to give us 2.5. And now let's recall this equation 2. We know the area of this triangle AFB equals to 1. And here I have copied down this equation 2 over here. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle AFB. The area of this uh, triangle is uh, the sum of these two individual areas A plus B. So therefore I'm going to replace this area of this uh, triangle AFB as A plus B. So therefore this equation is going to become A plus B equals to 1. And now let's focus on this equation on the left hand side. We have this A plus B over here. I'm going to replace this one by equals to 1. So therefore our this equation is going to become, I'm going to replace this A plus B by 1 plus this is going to be C plus D equals to 2. Point five. Now let's go ahead and subtract 1 from both sides. This is gone. So therefore our C plus D value turns out to be 1.5. And now we can see that this C plus D is actually the area of this green shaded triangle. So thus we conclude that the area of this green shaded triangle turns out to be 1.5. 5 square units. So thus the area of this uh, green shaded triangle uh, turns out to be 1.5 square units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.